thanks so much for clicking on the video i'm drowsy and this is a painting of bugs bunny for this video i started off with a sketch of bugs bunny and a louis vuitton um pattern in the background um this um after, after that i used gray gray paint well i had to i had to mix the gray paint just black and white and i mean i find like um something that wasn't too dark but like not too light at the same time and i use this gray i give it a few coats and like um but this painting this painting i chose this because of how simple and easy it is to paint and um i think i think that anybody who watching the video and they want to try to do this painting that they could just follow what i do and then paint it but the biggest problem was for me was getting paint on my hands but that is just a part of painting if you if you're painting you're bound to get paint on your skin or somewhere at some point but um the nice thing about acrylic paint is you could always fix your mistakes well most of the time most of the time you could fix your mistakes just put some white paint over it and then start over or just like the small area where you make the mistake just put some white paint and then paint over it but sometimes that doesn't work with some types of acrylic paint because it depends on the brand too because sometimes it might end up thick on the page and then you'll end up like with a little lump in that one spot but most of the time you can just put white paint over it and then um, fix the mistake for me in this case um, my mistake in this piece was buying this type of yellow paint <laughs> I shouldn't have um I shouldn't have used this this type of yellow acrylic paint because the problem with it is even though I paint multiple times over the over the sketch in the the sketch in the background um it just it, it just keeps showing through over and over no matter how many layers of yellow paint I put on the canvas so I try I try using white paint I try using white paint on top of the on top of the um the sketch and then using yellow paint and another layer of yellow paint and eventually it work in the like two two coats of um of white paint but the problem with it was it ended up with a lump on the canvas where um where that was happening it's nothing big it's nothing big so like it at least it, it wasn't too bad but um that is something that i would like to avoid so the next time i would just avoid using this type of yellow paint on the whole um the other colors the other colors was all right though i didn't have any problems with the other colors but something was wrong with this yellow um so the next time i'm buying paint i'll have to be mindful of that and see if i could um see if i could use a paint that would actually cover the the lines in the background or the lines in the sketch the process the um well the steps i took in this painting it was it very easy it very easy and it very simple um first like i said before you have to do the sketch and then um the next thing i did was before i did line out was the last thing that i did because um usually most artists would do the line art first but and then use the colors and then fill it fill it in but i um i wanted to avoid painting on top of or outside of the lines because i just i just didn't want to take the risk and make the mistake so i used um first i painted the i do the sketch and then i painted the colors and then i, I did um then I started doing the line out. Um, if you, if if for you, you are custom doing the line out first and then um, filling in the colors, then you could go ahead and do that. It's have nothing wrong with the way how you do it. But for me, I find it was easier to paint the line art last. And I had, I had almost forgotten about this. Um, Another thing that was very difficult in this painting, I scratch what I said earlier about paint gain on my hands. This this was this was a whole monster to do with. I didn't do I didn't use a stencil 
to do make the um to paint the Louis Vuitton pattern in the background. I do that by hand and when I tell you that was that was very 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 stress very 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 frustrating. I it took it took out it took a while and I had to um out the background was black and then the Louis Vuitton pattern was white so I had to paint over the white with black every time I make a mistake and then start over and in the in the the back in the really Louis Vuitton background pattern um in the sketch the sketch was I ended up not using the sketch at all because um the sketch was actually too big it was too big I couldn't use it because it couldn't like it would have been it would have been harder to tell that it was Louis Vuitton and I didn't want people to come asking me what is that pattern in the back and then I had to explain that it's Louis Vuitton I don't like I don't like when you do a painting or when you do a drawing and then somebody come around asking you, where's that? Where, where's that you paint? It, it, it is be, it is be frustrating. So I just end up making it smaller and easier to see. At first, I made it, I made it that big because I, I was actually scared to do the pattern and I thought the bigger that it was, the easier, the easier it would be because it would have less, less of the pattern to do um not in terms of size in terms of number so like if you if you can see in the sketch it only has um three on the on the on the left hand side of the painting but um in the end it um it's have about five instead five because I mean I mean that much smaller in the in the end of the video you will see because I it was so hard that I couldn't even record it usually when I record in the camera right next to my head and then I can't really put as much detail into my work as proper as as I would be for if the camera wasn't there I like to when I paint in person I like to get very close to the canvas and see all the little all the little parts on the canvas that missing paint or or need more detail and th in this case i really needed to do that I, so i just i just wasn't able to record that part of the painting but i did do it by hand and if you look closer you'll be able to tell too I, if, if i was using a stylus it would be next time though i think i would like to use a stylus because that was it was too much i would probably see if i could get my hands on a stylus or just um painter's tape i could probably look around and see if i could buy some painter's tape and see what i could do but don't be don't feel intimidated by anything on this painting this painting very easy and it's very simple and i know um some people might have problems with doing the sketch that might be the hardest um, part of the painting for them because they, they might feel as though they're not good at drawing the sketch and it might not look as well as they would as, as well as they wanted to but what i would say for that is just practice just practice and keep practicing and then you'll get better at art art is not something that you just wake up and then be good at um one day it's be it's be years and years of practice well for some people they might it might be easier for them to do drawing and painting better than others they might pick it up faster but they don't just they don't just um start off amazing they just take time and time and even good artists they sometimes question if they art um if they art good enough everybody does do that at well some people just do it at some point and nothing wrong with that as long as you keep practicing if you want to get better at art keep practicing don't just don't just give up on it and um, and say that it's not for you. If you enjoy doing it, then I would suggest keep practicing. If it's not if it's not for you, if it's not something that you really enjoy, then that that alright too. But if you want to get better at it, just keep practicing. The last steps I took in this painting was painting these areas, um, giving it a second coat, and then painting the Louis Vuitton background. And that's the end for this video. So I'll see you in the next. Bye.